Hi, welcome back to the Nurse Preceptor channel on YouTube. I'm Hillary and I'm your Nurse Preceptor. And I have a topic today that's a little bit unusual, but it's just kind of practical first aid. And like a lot of you during the stay at home lockdown, I've been doing a lot of work out in my yard. And of course I went to pull a weed out of the garden and it turned out to be a thistle. So I got these thorns in my finger, these little tiny spines that are at the base of the plant came inside and I knew something was stuck in my hand and I couldn't couldn't even see where they were. They were so tiny and so thin. But about 12 hours later, my finger swelled up. It was really painful and I had a few hot spots. So I knew I had something stuck in there. And I'm going to just share with you a remedy that you can use if you or your kid happens to get their finger stuck by either a thistle or thorns or even, even cactus, okay, depending on where you live. What I did, first of all, I took um, some Epsom salt, just any any type of Epsom salt. I made the, some warm water, very, very salty. You really can't overdo that stuff. And I, I let it soak for about 10 minutes, and it just helped relieve some of the some of the feeling of inflammation in my hand. I very lightly patted it dry and made sure it was fully dry. And then I took duct tape, just in any kind of duct tape. And what I did is, it was this finger, I put the duct tape right over top of where it was painful. And, you know, you have, you have to press it down, so I was kind of careful about doing that because it still hurt a little bit. But I stuck it down really well, and when I was sure it was very, very secure, I just ripped it off. Just like, just like doing facial waxing or leg waxing. Um, as an alternative to duct tape, I was thinking duct tape is something most of you probably have in your house. If you don't have duct tape, you can use like some of that warm microwavable wax that people use when they're waxing their face at home. Um, you can also use wax strips from the drugstore that are the, the same kind of thing. You can usually find them in the shaving supply aisle. But it worked really well. It did take a couple of attempts to get all the spines out, and finally my finger felt felt fine. But this is a very good tip, and even for kids that are kind of squeamish about, about having you mess with an area that's sore, this is something that really isn't overly painful, and it's cheap, it's easy, and, and it works well. And if, if you start seeing an infection in that area, there could possibly be something else left in there. And if you've tried it a few times, it hasn't worked, and you've repeated the Epsom salt soak and still can't seem to get it out, then it's probably time to have someone go take a look at it. Because if those thorns stay in the skin, they can cause kind of an immune response in the area, but they can also get infected. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Um, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to try to have some more of these, especially summertime first aid tips coming up soon. All right. Thanks for checking in with the Nurse Preceptor channel. Have a great day.